Today, we're gonna review the brand new Oculus Go headset. When I'm wearing, why not? Can't see anything. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to silo video into a headset and how to render your video, especially your stereoscopic video, in the highest quality possible, which is 4K times 4K in 30 frames per second, in 60 megabytes per second, in H.265, in the Premiere, and silo it into a headset, and then you can bring this to showcase to your client locally. Let's get started! Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. And I just received my brand new Ocular Go headset and there's already a lot of unboxing video out there so I'm not gonna do an unboxing video for you. Inside the box, uh, there will be a headset, a remote controller, and one thing I love the most is this little thing. With this, you can put it into a headset and make you glass friendly. As you see, I wear glasses all the time and I hate that on all the old like Ocular Rip headset or other headset, you need to actually like Try to fit your glasses into the headset is, is really like not comfortable at least on the rift but with this one it's actually very comfortable and very glass friendly so for me i'm not a vr gamer i don't buy the headset to play vr game i'm gonna teach you actually how to just set up with this headset and use for video viewing so youtube does allow upload like 8k 260 VR video up on YouTube, but unfortunately the YouTube VR app is not available in Oculus Store. But don't worry about it though, because Oculus Go actually have a really, really, really nice browser inside the app. You can use the browser to go onto your YouTube channel and type in the link or my link uh, of to watch all my see video content. So now we are on the home screen of Oculus Go. I click browser and then I can pick YouTube right there and then we'll open YouTube on browser and then type in, for example, my YouTube channel and then go on to my YouTube channel. You can scroll down with your control pad and pick my Lady 360 dance music video right here. Click that. It open up the full video. You click one more time, you will start playing the video. And then while the video is playing, it's not really 360, you hit, hit full screen and then now you see the 360 control right there. If you click 360 the button, you will see a full immersive 360 video view. And this is a mono video. And as you see, I'm tracking my head right now. So I'm just looking around and it's the 360 video. As you see, the video is actually pretty high resolution. YouTube is playing it, I believe in 4K because I have a pretty fast internet connection speed. And this video is actually uploaded onto YouTube in 5.2K resolution. So I think that is the best and easiest way to watch all of my video on my YouTube channel in the highest resolution possible. And I believe that is 4K here. And this is actually my latest release on my dance music video. So I'll put a link below and go check it out if you're into music and dancing. So now let's test out stereo. You can check out my trailer, which is in stereo 360. Again, hit the video, start playing it. But then go ahead and hit the full screen button and make YouTube full screen. And then you can pick stereo 360 button right there. And now what you see is the stereoscopic 360 video, my trailer. For you though, as a professional, uh, what you want to do is actually silo your footage uh, into a local hard drive inside your Oculus Go headset and show it to your client. That's probably what you are going to do. I do some testing. So the highest possible video you can load into a headset is actually 4K time 4K stereoscopic 30 frame per second video. Uh, and I set it to the bit rate to 60 megabit per second. So right now we're inside Adobe Premiere. Here is the stereoscopic 60 video. It's actually shot in 6K times 6K. This is the original footage in the .mov file. But we're gonna compress that for the highest quality possible for Ocular Go. Go on, export, media. In the media window, go ahead and pick HEVC H.265 and in width and height you got time in 4K which is 4096 time 4096 is square because stereoscopic uh, 4K is not actually 4000 by the way guys it's 4096 that's the number you can input and then scroll down here 
And then right here, really important, in the target bit way, you're actually gonna max them out to 60. And then video is VR, is stereoscopic over and under. And again, I also love to check the use maximize render quality on here. As you see, the estimate size is actually not big at all. It's around 1.6 gigabyte. So go ahead and hit render. So after the files is finished rendering, it's a good practice to rename them to let Ocular know that that is what type of video. So if you for mono, you usually do underscore 360. And if you for top and bottom stereo, you should do underscore 360 underscore top and bottom. If it's 180 side by side, you see 180 top side SPS. So that is just how to let Ocular know what kind of file type it is and then play the metadata correctly. So after you rename your file, the next thing is you need to drop the file directly into the Ocular Go headset. So how to connect your headset to your computer is very easy on PC. You just connect that with the USB cable to onto your PC and then you wear your Ocular Go headset. It will ask you, do you want to allow this PC to assess your devices? Hit yes, allow, and then in your PC, if you go to your PC, you will see VR headsets right here. It's readable right now. And my Ocular Go is a 32 gigabyte version. So you open it and then open your movies, which is right here. As you see the video, I drop it into right here. Besides rendering the 4K time, 4K stereoscopic video right here, I'm also rendering 5.2 gig global fusion mono in here to test out if the Ocular Go can play this footage smoothly. Unfortunately, Ocular Go can play this video in 5.2K mono, but the video is really choppy, it's not smooth playback. So the max resolution for both mono and stereo is 4K. If you're on Mac though, you need to connect your Mac to an Android phone. So Ocular Go is actually like an Android phone. So how you connect an uh, Android phone to your Mac is how you connect the Ocular headset to your Mac. So you, go, you need to go ahead and download this Android file transfer software uh, on the Android website. Go ahead and download it and follow instruction. And then you can connect your Mac to your Ocular Go. And then you can drop your file from your Mac directly to Ocular Go as well. Then inside Ocular Go, go ahead and click Gallery. And in Gallery, go ahead and paint the internal storage and then give it a second to load. If you go ahead and find all the media inside your brand new Ocular Go. And here is the 4K stereoscopic video. And then go ahead and play it. And as you see, it can smooth playback. One thing great about Ocular Go is a perfect device to show your client your work because it's so easy to use. You can actually get all this setup ready and then hit pause of the video and take the headset out of your head and put it on client's head and then give them the controller. They can just hit play and start watching the video. And there's no need to adjust the IO distance of the headset. The headset will just look clearly when you put it on your client's head. So it's very convenient and they can enjoy your video immediately without learning how to use a headset or anything. So it's a great device if you want to showcase your client's work to your client and get that job, that's definitely a headset you should purchase. So thank you for watching this video. So now you know how to render and compress your video into H.265 into the highest local resolution possible and silo that video into your Ocular Go headset and put it into your client's head and let them watch the video. The next thing I gotta teach you is how to get 6K video, stereo, mono, play into your Ocular Rift headset. I did not say it wrong, it's 6K, not 4K. I highly recommend you to go to Vizbit and download Vizbit app to check out my video, which is the first one, a dancing video, to see the quality, compare that. Uh, with the exact same video, also AK upload on YouTube, and you see the quality difference from there. Uh, if you know how to do that, subscribe to my channel and I'll teach you in the next tutorial.